hello guys welcome to techno world and today i am going to show you how you can use zender in your pc the fastest wireless file transfer we all know that how to use trans use and transfer file with zender in the smartphone but there are two way to use zender in your desktop and transfer file between your pc and smartphone number one process <coughs> for Number one process, you have to connect your desktop or PC and phone with the same Wi-Fi network. Maybe Wi-Fi network. Look, there is my smartphone connected with KC Wireless Wi-Fi network. And there is my laptop connected with KC Wireless Wi-Fi network. You can also use LAN connection from the same router in your laptop in which router the Wi-Fi connect the Wi-Fi share to your smartphone second process you no need any Wi-Fi connection or same network uh, and <coughs> you will get better speed in the second transfer process let's see how to do this at first you have to open your sender then you have to click on the connect to pc button but uh, in different version of zender you will get differently so here is the connect to pc button so after completing that click on connect to pc okay now you can see first step open this web address in your pc and second step is scan the QR code okay so let's open the browser okay now the web address is web.sender.com okay and now you have to click on the scan button and scan the qr code on your browser so now i am going to click on the scan button and scan the qr code on my desktop laptop okay scan complete And the another way of connecting gender with your laptop or PC is uh, suppose you have don't have any Wi-Fi connection in your home or office. I mean you have you don't have any same Wi-Fi network. Then how will you connect your gender with your laptop or PC? So first you have to open the gender. <coughs> Click on send button. This is difference for different person of sender so you no need to worry click on connect to pc button and go to create hotspot this is only you can do when you have don't have any wi-fi network same wi-fi network and you will get better speed in this type of connection so create a hotspot Gender hotspot is activated and you can see in your network so this is sender API and connect the network it is already connected if it is not connected then go to and click on connect ok it will it is connected now what you have to do follow the this ip address in your web browser now open your web browser enter the following web address this is so i am entering opening the web browser okay now i am entering the following web address
ok and uh, it is already connected and click on F accept so click on accept on the in your smartphone so I click on accept so it is accepted now this is now you can see this is my phone and this is my pc and you can access all of your files of your smartphone from this browser and you can also transfer file easily faster from your smartphone to laptop or laptop to smartphone so at first we see how to transfer file from your smartphone to laptop so you can see we can access all the file in the smartphone so go to any file i'm just i'm for example i am showing by transfer a video file so let's see the location of the video file so i'm going to the video folder okay but there is no video file i think so, yeah, okay there is video file and oh, you have to select the file which you want to transfer uh, from your smartphone to laptop or pc so i am selecting this file and click on download click on download select the location where you want to save the file okay i am saving in, in the desktop so click on desktop and you can see the browser speed that is 33 mb file downloaded in just one second this is the speed of sender so the next step is uh, how you can transfer file from your laptop to your smartphone so at first choose your location where you want to put the file so i am choosing the location others okay then click on upload file okay then suppose i want to transfer this video from my pc to my smartphone so click on the thing open now you can see there is a note see the file You can, see, or here you can see the video file which you already transfer from your laptop to smartphone so go to the next step you can simply drag and drop file to here to transfer from your laptop to smartphone look see you drag and drop here can see file is transferring so I am not transferring it and there is many interesting thing let's watch those by clicking on this uh, images you can easily browse browse your images directly and if you want to uh, transfer that save that on your desktop uh, <coughs> if you want to save that on your desktop then simply just select the photo or select click on the download button your image will be automatically downloaded on the in your PC mm, and if you want to download multiple if you want to transfer multiple image at once then select the images and click on download next if you want to see the all the videos of your smartphone and if you want to save that on your uh, pc then simply click on download okay and like that if you want to um, download multiple videos once 
just select the files and click on download okay now by clicking here okay i'm not downloading this photo so i just can cancel and by clicking here you can see all the You can play the music from here. Okay. Select the music. Click on play button. You can play the music. If you want to download, if you want to download, I save the music to your desktop just simply click on download same thing here also here you can see all the documents uh, the most interesting thing is you can back up all of your smartphone apps in your laptop if you want to click on the download button you know on apk file of this software or apps will be downloaded on your pc or desktop now just see how if you uh, suppose i want to back up the es file explorer then i should click on the download button and you will get a apk file of that software and if you want to save that concept apk file will be saved on your pc and if you want to back up all of your apps then select all and click on download button click on download button your selected apps apk file will be downloaded or saved on your pc and from clicking here you can access just like your file explorer or sd card on phone phone storage separately